So guys, right now, we have a F550 overkill pulling a Chevy K30. The Chevy K30 was down the cliff. We got it back up. Now let's finish the job. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this video is going to be in Farming Simulator 19, and we're going to be using this overkill, this F550, to rescue a Chevy K30 that even has dualies on the back. That is right. This Chevy K30 dually is so stuck. I'm actually going to show you guys where it is. It is so stuck that it cannot get out even with how much power that vehicle has and even with how good that is at off-roading in most cases it still struggles um from where it currently is so yeah here's where it is if you see it yeah they they messed up so our job is to get this up this hill okay now this is going to be very very challenging this first part um it's going to be unstuck. We're going to have to adjust quite a few times. It's going to be a little bit messy. Then what we have to do, also we have to get a tow hook on this, which is going to be fun. Um, yeah. Then what we have to do is bring it all along here. Hopefully the overkill is able to make it up this hill. I'm not even sure if it can. If it doesn't have the power to do it, then we'll go up this way. Um, but yeah, and then we'll position and then we'll bring it up here and then we'll be good. So yeah, lots to do. Uh, for this rescue, but I'm really hoping the overkill has the power to do this uh, Another thing too guys is that the overkill is good because it can raise up and down and That is very unique. There's not many vehicles that can do that. Well, oh, actually it's becoming a bit more common But nothing quite like this one uh, This vehicle is absolutely crazy and also I made two tow hooks with us one's back here on a hitch The other one is underneath. There's a special compartment uh, for a hook that's especially on this vehicle so yeah should be pretty cool either way let's go ahead and get moving now I have front wheel steering on right now and it's pretty good but you see for the size of this vehicle we really like it's, it doesn't let us turn that sharp once we do control Y we can do all wheel steering and then we can literally turn like in spot right you see that like that's so cool but if I switch it back to just front wheel steering like we'll literally hit that tree if we kept going there right it's not not as uh, strong we'll say yeah so luckily it has that other feature uh, this is still to this day one of my favorite mods and this is also one of my favorite maps as lots of you guys know um, yeah Valley Crest is a map that we used to have our dealership series on it used to be on a dedicated server. We did lots of rescues on here. Uh, we did some airport videos on here because there's a full airport. We've done quite a bit. Uh, and it's still like, this map doesn't have mud, um, nor does it have the ability for seasons. But that's just because the map has been out for so long. If someone could one day update the map and give it the ability to have seasons, uh, add some mud. I, one thing I would really, really love is like, if there's dirt, that you can like pick up and like uh, shovel up and stuff right similar to how it is on i don't know like there's tons of maps that have that feature uh example is like wind chaser or um what's what's another one there's lamb mods like mining map uh paradise yeah something like that would be very cool to have on here just in a few spots but the way it currently is i love it i absolutely love it there's so many unique things in this map like there's a helicopter that flies by randomly or like an airplane or something uh you can even hear it and stuff like that's something like i don't know how many more maps in the game have that feature and it really adds to the environment and the playing and everything so i, I absolutely love it like today we're really using all of like the highest quality mods like the overkill and uh the obviously like you guys know the k uh 30 from Chevy like that that vehicle uh, the modded version is very very well made it's made by Expendables Modding I believe and they did a great great job on it I'm so happy that they took on that project um, I, I'm pretty sure it's Expendables Modding whoever did it shout out to them but I'm 99% sure Expendables Modding is who to credit for that 
at least I know you can get it on the Expendless Modding uh, Facebook page. Okay, here we go. We have a roundabout. So, we aren't really going all around it, but it's all good. Okay, speed limit's 50. Is that kilometers or miles? I didn't really see. Also, I don't think we're going to be getting up to that speed anytime soon. But, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, what's that in? Speed limit 25. Yeah, it doesn't say. 25. That sounds more like miles than kilometers. Because 25 kilometers an hour, guys, that's pretty slow. Like, you make turns at 20 kilometers an hour, right? Like, on residential roads and stuff. So, 25, you really can make a turn at that speed even with no issues. Which is, yeah, it's not fun when the speed limit is that low. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we are. We are in a similar area to before as well. Uh, we did a video rescuing a vehicle not too far from here. It was just, like off to uh, the left but yeah we're all good okay anyways let's go ahead let's raise up the vehicle uh, whoops yeah let's raise this up there we go perfect max max ride height and let's go down here but before we do that here's a message from our sponsor join Lava Mod's patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations you will get early access to Lambo Winston and Beard Shot's awesome ideas on top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay, so let's go down here, guys. Enough suspense. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Now, this is really the only vehicle that should be going on train uh, that's this crazy. Because, yeah, like, I don't know. If this thing ever gets stuck, honestly, no, it won't ever get stuck. I cannot imagine this getting stuck. They'll always be able to, like move the wheels in some way to get it out um at least i'm pretty sure that's the case it'd be cool though if we somehow could get this stuck one day and then have to like rescue it but i i don't know what could do that like the tow trucks are just too big in the game right there's no chance wherever this would get stuck it would have to be a very like tight area and yeah the tow trucks can't do that <laughs> uh, okay either way let's go ahead uh, lower tow hook. Wait, what? Oh! I did not even know you can rotate that. Uh, by actually, will attach your trailer hitches and allow to. Wow! I did not know you could rotate that. Okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's enough goofing around. Uh, let's turn this on with B. And then we will click N. And now here's where we are a little bit scared. So. I know that the collision uh, on this hill is not necessarily the best in all spots. So we got to go nice and slow. Uh, we cannot drop the tow hook. So we need to really watch where we're walking. Or I'm pretty sure we're, we're not able to drop this. Okay, nice and slow. There we go. Now we should be able to place it down. Perfect. Attach on up. And let me make sure the parking brakes off. It is okay. We are good to go. Let's tighten this up. And we can start pulling. Okay. Let's go up here. We're going to have to adjust this probably quite a few times. Um, yeah, this is going to... Once this Chevy uh, K30 gets stuck on something, it's going to start pulling our overkill forward quite fast. So we've got to be prepared for that. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about here short. Well, hopefully you won't see what I'm talking about, but likely will. Yeah, it's already, you see, it's already pulling us forward a bit. And, like, the Chevy's still moving. It's not actually stuck yet. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Here's where I'm really worried. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, see right there. You see right there how we started moving forward a lot? Okay, so what we need to do is release winch so luckily it's stationary there and then figure out how we can get this up i think if we move back a bit that might work now it's going to pull us forward again this is going to i told you guys at the beginning this is going to be lots of moving back and forth here come on oh it's just struggling it is just struggling okay what if we have like stay closer oh i don't want 
the overkill to fall. No, please, 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 please. Okay. Oh, geez. What if we start backing up? Does this have the power? Oh, mm, just needs to get up a little bit more. Let's see. It kind of repositioned a little. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's back on up. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, okay, yeah, we're able to back up. There we go. Uh, okay, no, now it's stuck. So let's release. Hopefully that doesn't start sliding down. Let's move further back. Here we go. Uh, I think that's probably a good position. And then continue pulling. Nicely done, okay. Looking pretty pretty solid here. Let's keep on going. That was like the hardest part, guys, right? You guys obviously could tell, like, we had to get a little bit creative there, driving a vehicle back, but it did all work out. Um, okay, Let's see if we can just pull this. No, okay, so now now the issue is that yes, this has power, but the other vehicle is just too close. So we need to be giving it slack and then using the winch uh, the way it's intended to be used. That's the only way we're going to be able to get this out. And also, let's hopefully get this thing shifted over uh, this direction of it. So hopefully, maybe. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Come on, keep going, keep going. Nicely done. Just turn a bit more. And yeah, this is this is working perfectly. And stop. Okay. What I'm going to do now, release the winch a bit. And let's see if we can just back up with this hill. I don't know if we'll have the power. We might need like a running start. A running start. I mean like a driving start. That just sounds weird. Oh no. No, 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 no. You got this. You got this. Overkill, I believe in you. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now, let's pull this. So, you guys, right now, we have a F550 Overkill pulling a Chevy K30. The Chevy K30 was down the cliff. We got it back up. Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> okay. Come on. Go, 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 go. I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't know, like, if anything can go wrong. It's, I guess our cable could snap. Let's just hope that doesn't happen, though. Go up here. Come on. Let's, yeah, let's let it, like, sit for a sec. Looking good. Now, we are moving forward a bit. Uh, also, this road does have traffic. So, we need to watch out for that. Alrighty. It's funny, this hill looks so small now, but yeah, I, I know the Chevy cannot get up this. Like, they would have, we would have had to come either way. Um, why did I detach? I meant to just give slack. Just back on up. I'm going to turn on my hazards. Let's pray that no one comes. And let's keep going. I'm just going to watch for cars. Hopefully they stop for us if they do see us. Like, I don't know. Not sure how that works. Alrighty. Let's detach. Um, oh, okay, there is a vehicle coming. So what I want to do is go off to side. I told you guys, like, there's actually vehicles that do go on this road. Luckily, not too often, though. Okay. Um, what I want to do now is reverse where our winches so right now the winch is at the front and it used to be built in uh but version 2 came out and now we can detach that just like so and with this we can then put it at the back which then allows us to drive with the vehicle so it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah let's attach that there we go i will lower this down oh that's adjusting our, our trailer hitch there we go let's go like that because we don't need to be so high and can I oh what if we oh you know what yeah 
let's go all wheel steering and there we go that works perfectly okay and now let's attach on up okay to start off the drive too we're gonna have to have these this wheel turned in order for this to work uh, and then there we go and let's just see if we can start driving now we're looking good already I'm gonna need this to come in our lane though uh there we go oh you know what the wheel is still turned that's not good I thought the wheel would adjust clearly it doesn't do that for whatever reason there we go now it should follow us a little bit better uh, here let's just pull it in a bit more there we go that's like the perfect distance I think or maybe a bit closer nicely done already so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it I also just quickly want to say the channel is nine years old now it became nine years old yesterday um, for when you guys when this video is released so yeah just want to say I truly mean this uh, you guys have made past nine years of my life just so awesome I'm so grateful to be able to say I have a YouTube channel with 26,000 subscribers it's crazy to think about and you guys really have changed my life um, I don't know what I would be doing on my like free time if it wasn't for YouTube right like my spare time what I de dedicate that time for is making uh, content for you guys to watch and I am fortunate enough to have quite a few people now watching these videos on a daily basis which I just absolutely love so thank you so much for that and that's about it so subscribe turn on notifications join the discord server links down below you guys can check out our merchandise it's now on teespring you if you're on mobile you might even see the uh, merchandise shelf underneath the video and yeah bye bye Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.